Uh, it's for left or right leaning. You simply put it on the shoulder and it provides that fishing poles, flex technology type of tug. You're you pull into it with your neurological tone or spasticity, it allows you to, and then brings you back. In about 15 minutes, you should see that muscle inhibition and relaxation. Um, it comes in all sizes. This is a smaller size. It goes down to newborn. We actually have a, um, a size we call the doll. And, um, but you have all the way up from tiny babies to the largest adults. And it's a very simple measurement. Now, some of these contracted patients, their shoulder will not be like what you see in an anatomy book. But if you just measure from the top of the shoulder to about just right above the ear, out from the eye, uh, it might be at forehead height. But you have to imagine if they're leaning, if you can't stretch them up enough to measure straight up and down. Uh, you can be creative. You can measure this side, a straight line, and measure this side, a straight line, and then average the two. Because you don't want it so short, you need a fulcrum here that has good leverage. Everything we do is just very simple. Uh, by far the majority of our products are fit by uh, well-trained orthotic fitters that understand neurological tone and spasticity, understand the complete difference between orthopedic and restorative. They understand that the whole body is involved with orthopedics. You know, you typically look at the joint that is injured. With restorative, you have to consider what's going on brain and spinal cord out. So it's a whole different type of work. It's a whole different patient and it's certainly a completely different type of uh, orthotic device. Now, if you need to adjust the splint, let's say the patient is farther over than you feel comfortably this will slide in, then you're going to simply take the plastic out and remold it, typically just here, remold it, to more flexion, but that gives just that gentle tug. Then it's real easy just to begin remolding it back. Uh, if there are any bony prominences around the shoulder, you would remold that to go around that. When it's cool, uh, I do want to say, make sure this is like a pad that fits here. I wouldn't change this. This allows it to go out away from the ear, uh, so you don't have any pressure at all. When it's cool, and if you're in a hurry, you can run it under cold water. Just don't shock the plastic. You slide it back in. And I said these are really simple, and they're just common sense. You look at your patient and figure, what do I need to do to start them back on the way to correction? I'm going to take this shoulder pad off. Uh, strap off so I can show you how to do it. There's a little piece of Velcro in here, so uh, you may just need to release that when you slide it back on. Then when you push it there, it holds the material in rather than having it look big and bulky. Again, we want to protect our patient's dignity as much as possible. Um, they're already suffering from lack of self-esteem with their deformity, um, so we want to try to make their products as low profile as possible. Now with this strap, uh, this is what anchors it to the opposite side and has Velcro on it. So just discover the best angle and you can fit it anywhere to be comfortable for your patient. Uh, both the back and the front will Velcro open so you have total adjustability uh, for your patient. You're gonna, typically, you'll take the front one out. It's easier to deal with. And you go to the opposite side, and there's a pad that's going to protect your underarm and make it comfortable. You come up through the D-ring. Find this by feel. 
and you secure it down. Now your patients that have their chins down somewhat, you want to just be careful and make sure this doesn't um, cut into their neck or put any pressure at all. You, that's why this is so adjustable. You want to find the right angle to tug them over but not bother their chin. Now, the thing you need to remember with this is if your patient is, their head is very far forward, uh, you can order a, a um, uh, forehead strap that velcros here and goes all the way around their head and that will help hold them in. If they are too far forward that they would come out of it, then we need to look and see do they have other spinal issues below the neck that we need to address. If they do, then we need to look at the whole torso and the whole spine and see what corrective measures. 